We are here in Zurich at Aura for our 7th edition of the Liga Community Awards Switzerland by LC Publishing Group. Today we are honored to award um, the best in class uh, among legal uh, professionals, law firms, in-house councils who made the difference and made a significant uh, contribution to the legal ecosystem. The professionals, law firms and in-house teams that we will be here today with us come from different practices such as taxations, litigation, corporate, M&A, banking and finance and so on. Let's go and see what they think about this uh, today's scenario and what there are challenges awaiting them and the projection for the near future. What do I think is the biggest challenge for, for in-house counsel in 2024? I think the biggest challenge is just managing risk with a very lean organization and a lean budget. We're coming out of this COVID period and um, I think within every company there's a big emphasis on managing operational expenses and making sure that we're focusing our resources on all of the different issues that contribute to performance. So I think that continues to be one of the main issues. The secret to being an excellent in-house counsel, that's a good question. Uh, there's many aspects. I think one of them is, let's say, one of the most important ones is to be a general manager. Uh, you've got to take care of and take into consideration all the changes that there are nowadays and the changes in the regulatory scape and the legal changes are ch really, really happening very quickly nowadays. Um, but you've also got to take care of the um, general situation in society, for example. How is the, the, the new technology going to influence you? How is the uh, going to influence your employees, your colleagues, and so on? So it's a really a very broad mix of things you have to consider. And I think he who considers that best, he or she, will do a good job in the end. The challenge is uh, uh, to be in uh, council uh, in uh, the sector I come from a, a technology company, Steam Microelectronics, uh, is the digitalization of the legal department and the use of the artificial intelligence so that at the first sight it could scare, let me say, the legal community, but uh, at the end if well understood, if well appreciated, it could boost the, profici the proficiency and efficiency of the legal department uh, supporting the strategy of the C-suite. The most important challenges of today in my sector are technology, for sure, artificial intelligence and digitalization. Sustainability as well, which needs to make a comprehensive package with a, with a consistent trend and strategy. You're asking how legal services will evolve to meet clients' needs and I think the, 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 the right word on which you need to focus is clients' needs. Um, and. Um, uh, you know, we will uh, improve in terms of efficiency, but we will also improve in terms of anticipating the, 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 the needs and try to address them before uh, they, uh, they become, uh, you know, an issue, uh, be it a uh, dispute or uh, uh, interpretation problem or so, yes. And we will be uh, helped by technology. Uh, so far, uh, for instance, in our firm, we have um, implemented more or less all of the tools that you have in the market. Artificial intelligence is, a, is not only a buzz, it's taking place. Uh, uh, not making a product placement here, but all the solutions that, uh, that are coming out now, we, we do implement and we want to offer this uh, enhancement to, to our clients. Um, I would say one of the biggest challenges is, let's say, the introduction of the 15% global minimum tax and let's say increase tax compliance and let's say um, just other let's say elements, right? What do you think are the legal challenges for your sectors at the moment? The legal challenges, I think they're pretty much the same as they used to be. Um, you need to have a good structure and a good execution. But other than that, I think it's pretty much the same from a legal perspective. Yeah. I mean, the, the news in Switzerland is at the moment we have a lot of restructurings going on. And obviously, digitalization and AI is one of the topics at the forefront and brings a lot of uh, difficult questions to the labor market. Yeah.